Welcome again to the Hobo and His Girlfriend podcast. My name is Hobo Tom. My girlfriend is not here, unfortunately. She's at work. You will get her again one time, one more time, sometime in the future. But today, this is our backlash preview, or not preview. You already did our predictions. This is kind of like the recap. Eh, you see a sour look. We'll figure out why. Again, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, feel free to leave an email at, g- at hobo girlfriend at gmail.com. Oh, someone sent me a text. That's rare. Nope. Okay. It's amazing my phone can figure out my autocorrects quicker than I can. Oh. Okay, well, let's talk about Backlash. Eh. I don't know why this was a pay-per-view. Obviously. Still finishing off the tequila. That's good. Tequila and orange soda. It's almost like a tequila sunrise. It's from Monte Grandine. And orange juice. I don't know. It just gets gritty. Uh, but backlash, it was okay. I mean, it was what it was. I'm gonna kind of go through the matches. Three quick recap, my reviews. Yeah. Oh no. Maybe it's because I went to NXT last night. I was just kind of tired and exhausted. I had to go into work today. Well, let's start things off. In the pre-show, we had at least the one that I kind of was able to catch a little bit was Bailey. Oh, oh. Bailey's kind of fun still. I, I just want to see her go through a heel turn. Yes, she, she has to stop being face Bailey. She has to be heel Bailey. Evil Bailey. Ooh, that sounds good. <laughs> the evil laugh. But again, just to kind of go over things. Uh, Bailey for face Ruby Riot. Ruby Riot was the winner, and it was a it was a it was a good match. I mean, it was on the pre-show. It's a cross brand brand thing. I don't know a ham sandwich. Most of this card was a ham sandwich match, with the rare exception of the first match of the night, which was The Miz versus Seth Rollins. Oh, oh, there's the cat stalking around somewhere. Mm, I see a surprise appearance by Chispa. She might do this pay-per-view. I don't know what she would give it, but... Oh, well. The Miz versus Seth Rollins for the IC title. I predicted that Seth Rollins would retain. They're not going to keep the... Uh, they're going to not have the IC title and the US title on SmackDown. It was, it was good. It was Both are such good technical wrestlers. wrestlers. Good back and forth, a bunch of reversals, a bunch of false finishes, uh, pin reversals. Seth kicked out of two skull-crushing finales, which I was shocked. The second one, it was over. The Miz kicks out. And the thing about The Miz is that he doesn't really telegraph his kickouts. Like, one, two, three. No, only two. Whee! But again, he is really good. He's one of those few wrestlers that actually goes by the cadence and not by the actually handful. So it was, it, was, it was good. I don't know what else to say. It wasn't anything spectacular. This will be a cheeseburger with bacon. What's your bacon cheese? It's not quite surf and surf. It's a little bit better than a cheeseburger. Again, you had the figure four in the middle of the ring, which I thought was going to be the end of the match. But then Seth Rollins reversed that. Seth Rollins is great at selling. Miz is great at selling. Both these two consummate professionals really darn good. Um, the roll-up was countered into a curb stomp or the blackout, I think. Seth won, kind of predictable. But the fun thing was it was not sure at times. So this went on to the Raw Women's 
championship between Alexa Bliss and Nia Jax. For some reason, these matches are long. They gave like half an hour to each match. I mean, this match should have been a squash match. Especially with Nia Jax's size. I know Alexa Bliss is immensely talented. But it shouldn't have been long as it should have been. Um, it was, it was a good match. Again, should have been a squash match. I don't know. I just didn't feel it, I guess. I think part of it was because, really, of the end promo. Where Bliss kind of rambled on a little bit. To the... Talking about bullying. Be who you are. You're a positive... Positive image. Yeah. My name is Hobo Tom. And I don't know. I guess I, I think that just end just kind of killed it for me. It's like, really? I understand why. And the WWE does put so much time it, into their anti honors care. I think I just get inundated with it so much. It's like, really? Again? I heard this 2024. Yeah. I mean, it was a ham sandwich. It wasn't bad. It wasn't great. It wasn't one that could have been. Maybe the tequila was kicking in, or maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't have enough tequila. Yeah, more tequila makes the matches better. Then I think I was like cooking, kind of my big breakfast. Because on wrestling matches, I do like to celebrate a little bit. Sundays I like to have breakfast. This time I had a big breakfast. Kind of fancy. Again. Yeah. 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 Uh, this time it's the good tequila for some reason. Because normally tequila doesn't agree with me. But this stuff does. A plus. So again, it was kind of like... Again, your ham sandwich. Again... I didn't kill it for me. For some reason, the promos in this pay-per-view are actually better than the actual matches. Samoa Joe, best promo over. Ever. I predict the only thing that could have made this better is he said, You job, turkey. You want Clubber Lang to make a prediction? I'll give you your prediction. I predict. Hey. Rocky 3. Good movie. I think all up to Rocky 5. Were really good. Then it just went. Again, Clubber Lang. I mean, this could have been a small show. Could have really... Kind of a big pop, especially being in the New Jersey area. If they were in Philadelphia, it would have gone over much more. I predict pain. The way Samoa Joe just lovers it, just awesome. But then this led to a Jeff Hardy and Randy Orton match. Again, between these two superstars, it could have been so much better. It's just a ham sandwich match. And kind of good back and forth. Jeff Hardy using kind of the, the steps. Reversing something or just slamming Orton's head against the steps. One of his signature moves. He expected the RKO when Jeff tried the Swanton Bomb. Hey, he hit the Willow Wisp. Again, this was just a ham sandwich mess. Jeff Hardy wins. Hopefully this leads to some other feud with Jeff. Both are really too good for this, I think. Orton's been around long enough where he doesn't need to win. Jeff Hardy, he could have so much more dynamic feuds with others. Maybe Jinder Mahal. Hey. Who knows? <laughs> this led to the moment of the night. Elias Samson came out. Tried to sing. Again, got the pop from the New Jersey crowd by mentioning Bruce Springsteen. Says Bruce comes to him for advice. Runs down the crowd. 
then all of a sudden the new day comes out. Try to jam with him. And of course they're all in the nerves and saying, Whoa, 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 whoa. Doing the New Day Rocks, New Day Rocks. Again, kind of the classic theme song. Then it was, no, 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 no. And Elias is, he's just amazing with crowds. I mean, you have the boo yay of him threatening to leave. He would leave and the crowd would go, yay. Come back to the ring, the crowd goes, boo. Try and go up, back out, yay. Back in, boo. Elias, awesome. Put a smile on my face. And again, this was really the, unfortunately, the highlight of the night. The promos were so much better. Up to this point, the matches, besides The Miz and Seth Rollins, were blah. Then, <laughs> seemed like everyone else came out. <laughs> Grace had, the, had the, the, the laugh of the night when he just said, this is all of my nightmares coming true. When the New Day were doing their thing and Elias was doing their thing. Aiden English, Aiden English, please stop rapping. Okay? Back off. Back off. No more rapping. No more. Just sing. You have, you have a, a, he actually has a really good voice. It's like, why rap? Like, just, just your classical singing. That's all I say. So, so, so again, it's Rusev Day. Rusev comes out. Then it's, No way Jose and his conga line come out. Again, it's just like a whole a whole everyone. Poor Joe, Joe. Every time Elias tried to restart something, he would say, Joe, Joe. And she would say, now Elias. And this happened like three or four times. Poor Joe, Joe. Hey, she earned her pay jack tonight. Good for her. And then Bobby Roode appeared out of nowhere. This sway. Oh, yes! And again, just kind of join in the, hum the whole musical fray. Delivered a glorious DDT to Elias, which will be a good feud for the next, for, for Bobby Roode. It will be fun. Oh, I hope it is. Yeah, if Bobby Root switched over brands. Also, take a look again. It was just really fun. Maybe I was just spoiled from NXT last night. I don't know. Daniel Bryan versus Big Cass. It was a toast. It was a toast match. And I can't believe I'm giving it this high. No way. Toast is the lowest. Uh-oh. Again, this was really okay. They're just, I mean, there were the yes kicks. The only really big thing about this match, they really highlighted the size difference between the two. I mean, you yeah, had the yes kicks, the yes lock, which he, which, which big cast tapped out of really quick. And then he just turned to heel and just after the yes lock, just beat him up. And toast. I mean, you could have seen this on SmackDown. This could have been a tape segment on SmackDown. Not even that good. I was just like, really? They're saying this for a preview? Backlash? I don't know. It was just low, I guess. I mean, I give the whole thing like a ham sandwich. Thankfully, I didn't pay for it. I would have been upset if I paid for it. I didn't even watch it for free. Because I know stuff. They had Char Charlotte and Carmella. This was like a can of soup. Spread than toast has a little bit of flavor. But I mean, anyone can enjoy a good can of soup. Chicken noodle soup. Italian wedding soup. Minestrone. It's all good, but it's... Yeah. It's not even a ham sandwich. Again, kind of just highlighted a couple things. Although the one thing I will give Carmella, she is a great screamer. 
She has an amazing set of lungs. And when she was, I think she was a Lakers cheerleader, I think, or was it a Miami Heat cheerleader? I know she cheer. I know she was a cheerleader for us on the M- M- NBA team. She must have learned to breathe with your diaphragm, talk with your diaphragm, just like they talk teachers. Quick advice to any wannabe teachers out there: never talk from your throat. Your voice will last one day. If you're lucky, you, have to, you do have to talk from your, your diaphragm. And I'm sure everyone has heard that before. Carmela does. I'll give her that much. She can scream. And she doesn't need that ring to be mic'd up or anything. Um, Carmel, Carmela won. It was a great spot where she just was attacking the legs of Charlotte Flair. Try to stop her from doing moonsaults and the figure eight. Leg lock, which is the bridging figure four. Just started to attack her knee. When Charlotte went up to do a moonsault, she, I think she hit like a drop kick or, or, or kick on the knee, or her knee gave out. Kamel started to attack that, gave a super kick to the knee. It was a roll up win. I didn't even pay attention after a while. Probably getting myself more tequila and OJ or orange soda. Yum. Uh, I have to pour myself another glass. Before I get my aluminum! Yes! This led really to what I thought was the match tonight. It was AJ versus Shinsuke. I mean, this was a surf and turf match. Granted, it wasn't as good as the, Royal, as the greatest Royal Rumble match, because that was better for some reason. AJ launched a chair, and there was a botch where the chair got sent back to him and just busted. AJ Styles open. AJ Styles being the consummate professional. I mean, continue on. It was, this was really the the best match, I, I think. I mean, you can make an argument between The Miz and Seth Rollins. And this match, we're matching tonight. Again, it finally broke down, finally, for a no disc match. Because if I was in a no disc match, the first thing I would do, I would kick the guy in the nuts. Give him the hobo takedown, which is a head and arm takedown. Kind of like version of the STO. Bite his nose off and pin him. Bite him in the nose and pin him. That's it. Game over. No discue so I can bite. Kick in the nuts. Hey, I win. Then choke him out, actually, instead of pin him. Yeah, give him the hobo. But again, this, <laughs> this kind of degraded over time. And they told a good story about how it degraded over time from over here you have this great re- technical wrestling match. And then all of a sudden, over time, all of a sudden, all the bad things happen. Get chairs, and then all of a sudden, it just reverted to who could kick who in the nuts harder, which is what it should have been in the first place. Again, you had reversals, calf crushers to triangles to styles clashes. Super classic technical match. Again, really good, really fun match. And then it just reverted to low blows, and the ref made the 10 count where no wrestler could get up because they just hit each other so often. And it was what it should have been. I mean, for a no-DQ match, this is the way it should be. How do you get the dq though? Well, neither did you got the dq It was a dusty finish, baby. Nobody wins. Again, this continues the feud. It's a surf and turf match. It was built up what it should be. And hopefully this builds up something for SummerSlam. It'll be amazing. No, I can't go to it because I have to collect aluminum and work. Again, this and again after this was a Lashley and Braun match versus KO and Sami Zayn. Again, really just a ham sandwich match. I mean, the ones on Raw were so much better because this just seemed like a Raw match. I mean, they could have had this match any night in Raw. In fact, I, they had it on the Go Home Show. I don't understand and sometimes. Who knows? The only good thing it did is that it teased a Sami Zayn heel turn and a Kevin... So it was a Sami Zayn heel turn and a Kevin Owens face turn. But Kevin Owens is getting with turn, which should be good. 
Again, it was a good. It was a, for a while. It was an okay back and forth when Lashley was in the ring. Braun Strowman just goes in there and shoulder tackles everyone. That's what he should do. And then you have the discord between Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. KO throws Sami in the ring. Sami pulls Kevin back into the ring. Back and forth. Sami Zayn's kind of teased the breakup of the pin. KO eats the pin. Eh, that was what it was. You're kind of ham sandwich. It's like you can see this on Raw. Then you had the Samoa Joe versus Roman Reigns main event. I hate to say this, but it's feeling that Lol Roman won. almost like the Lol Cena wins. And it's just getting kind of old. First part of the match was fun. Before the bell rings, Joe just beats up Reigns. Loved it. That's what it should be. A table spot. Again, the bell finally rings then. You hear the Joe chants, and this crowd was kind of quiet a little bit. It wasn't a loud crowd, especially from based on a Canadian crowd. Shame on you, New Jersey. You need to be better than those Canadians. Again, it's, it's just a showcase of each other's skills. You have classic corner clotheslines from Roman Reigns. Joe, again, just still has amazing counters. But it's like, oh, well, Roman wins after a spear over something. I just tuned out, phased out. More concerned about fashion and dungeon brawlers and texting friends, talking to my girlfriend. Girlfriend, so. Of course, because it's after Cinco de Mayo, drinking more tequila. So thank you very much for watching. That was kind of my recap. Again, please check out my previous face YouTube YouTube video about NX coming today. Tona Beach. Yes, 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 yes. Hopefully, I think some other time I'm going to take a friend. Maybe, or at least I'll go out to another NXT event, either in Orlando or Tampa. We'll see. And I do have to post... When my girlfriend and I went to the SmackDown Live, it's also find my other post, but when I took my nephews to their second NXT event, so again, prepare to see more NXT action, more video, more videos, and less of the hobo is good. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe. Please leave a comment. Again, your comment will get read on the air and you'll get a bonus something. I have to figure out what yet. Email at hoboandgirlfriend at gmail.com and you'll also get a bonus. Figure out what that is, either an email from me or some additional clips. We'll see. Figure out something. Thank you, everyone. Have a good night. Bye.